Hello, welcome to the fourth video tutorial on electricity and electronics. The topics covered in previous video are In this video, we will see the concept of signal, difference between analog and digital, concept of polarity and circuit, and difference between alternating and direct current. Signal Generally, signal is any action that is used to convey some information. It is a measurable quantity. In electronics, the signal is simply defined as an electric current that represents some information. Signal is time varying quantity. That is, its value changes with change in time. Later on, this concept will be explained in detail. Difference between analog and digital. In electronics, we need both analog and digital signals. We live in analog world, where digital technology help us to live better. What we hear, smell, see and talk, all are analog signals. Some real life examples of analog and digital are, clock, speedometer, keypad. Signal with time varying nature is analog signal. This can be graphically shown with example of voltage signal where x-axis represents time and y-axis voltage. Analog signals can have infinite possible values in a given range. Hence they are continuous in amplitude as well as in time. Examples of analog signal are drumming sound, signals from antenna, EKG that is electrocardiogram signal. Digital signals have finite possible values in a given range. Digital signal will be one of two values. That is, either 0 or 1. Light switch is a good example of digital signal. It is either on or off. That is, it has specific value at specific time. A digital signal might be a discrete representation of an analog waveform. This analog signal may seem to be continuous and smooth. But, taking a close look at any part of signal, you will find a tiny step pattern. This means analog signal tries to approximate the values. Thus, analog signal looks smooth and continuous, while digital signal is stepping, square and discrete in nature. Polarity. The term polarity is commonly used in electricity and magnetism. Let's define polarity with the concept of voltage. The voltage means difference in potential between two points. If one point has more electrons than other, then it has negative polarity, and other point has positive polarity. If these two points are connected by a conducting wire, then electron starts flowing from negative to positive polarity. This flow of charge results in electric current. Circuit A circuit is a circular path, in which electricity flow through conducting medium to do something useful. If we connect a wire directly from the positive to the negative side of a power source, circuit created is called a short circuit. But this is very bad idea. Don't do this. It may damage electrical instrument. The opposite of short circuit is open circuit. Mostly the cause behind improper working of electrical circuit is open circuit. Difference between AC and DC. The electric current is of two types. Direct and alternating current. Because of semiconductor technology, both these currents are very important for electrical circuit to work. DC is unidirectional. That is, electron flow in one direction only. While AC is bidirectional. That is, electron flow alternates back and forth. 
DC never fluctuates while AC fluctuates. Thomas Edison was big supporter for DC to be used in homes, buildings, towns. Whereas, according to Nikola Tesla, AC is the best option to be used. This difference in thoughts of Edison and Tesla is referred as War of Currents or Battle of Currents, and was very popular in late 1880s. Let's consider a circuit consisting of DC motor and DC power source. Here polarity is very important for source as well as motor. When switch is closed motor starts rotating in clockwise direction. Look at the graph, the voltage is constant. But, as the power source is DC battery it will get discharged soon, as shown by dotted line. Here polarity defines the direction of current. Now let's reverse the battery position. Since polarity is get reversed, the motor rotates in anti-clockwise direction. We learned that AC is bidirectional and it alternates back and forth. Let's see what this exactly means. Consider a simple circuit with a light bulb and AC source of 240 volt. When powered on. Observe behavior of circuit. Direction of flow of electrons is changing. Which changes brightness of light bulb. This can be expressed as shown in graph. The upper half part of waveform shows electron motion in one direction while second half of waveform show electron motion in back direction. The peak of waveform in both the cases represents brightest state of bulb. The start to end waveform shown here is called as one cycle. And the rate at which cycle repeats itself is called as frequency. It is measured in hertz. In India we follow 240 volt and 50 hertz AC standard. Considering example of light bulb powered by AC source. 50 hertz means. Change in brightness of light bulb occurs 50 times in a second, which cannot be detected by human eyes. Let's summarize the concept of AC and DC in one line. For AC, voltage and current is continuously varying in nature. For DC, voltage and current is stable and steady in nature. Thank you for watching the video. Please feel free to comment, like, and subscribe this channel. You may contact at email ID mentioned here. Stay connected. Goodbye.